Hello, 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 you lovely people. So today we're going to be looking at configuring the SSH terminal as a shock secure shell terminal in ACS for connecting up to your IBM I systems. Very popular with those of you who have uh, embraced open source and also popular with those of you who have migrated across from AIX or Linux. All right, so it's not one of the more intuitive things that one has to configure on uh, ACS. So when you start, if you had a secure cell, you'd expect to see it there in the general section, okay? Uh, and then it would be context sensitive, you know, if you had multiple systems, in that case, you can see Rit Allison uh, showing the SSH would click to that. If it was showing you Rit Scott, you would click on the SSH and it would take you to Rit Scott. But in this case, because it's not there, and because it's not hidden away in the normal preferences and uh, configuration that you would find in system configuration, you have to enable it inside the properties file so maybe that'll change in a future release uh, so that would be nice if it did but for now start browsing go and take a look at your location where your default properties file is which if you have taken a default install as we showed in the previous episodes of this um, using the all user environment your acs configuration properties will be in the public ibm uh, client solutions if you've done it specifically for your user it'll be in whatever your name is um ibm client solutions and if you haven't uh, done the installation script you've just literally copied the directory it will be uh, wherever you copy the directory next to the acs bundle.jar which spoiler alert is the one that does all the work hey so once you've got the properties file right, we need to go inside there and enable the ssh option the secure shell option so you can open it with notepad or your text editor of choice let's just make that a bit bigger uh, and you're looking for the section on ssh secure shell right so they make note of it there but in the next section down there's the configuration customization so it's the same properties file remember if you're using a linux a mac or a windows device uh, if you're using linux or mac you have a built-in ssh terminal in your um, operating system Windows, well, in the future, you will have. I believe that it's part of the secure, uh, so the Windows shell, uh, but I'm not a Windows guy. And standard Windows 10 people, which I think a lot of us still are out there, you have to do a little bit of enabling. So i give you three examples. I'm going to go for the putty one because uh, P-U-T-T-Y has been around for ages. It is free. It's very easy to download. And I'm going to do that in just a second. So I'm going to remove that REM statement there, that mark. And I'm also going to take the default location for it where it says putty should be, which is just down there. So by removing this first mark there, it's now going to show up as an option, um, the SSH option. And by putting this mark in here, it will, whenever you click on it, use that executable. Right. Now, I, quite, um, I can well imagine that you don't have the putty executable on your PC, and at the moment, neither do I on this one. So having made that change, I'm just going to save that configuration. Yeah, it's great. And if I was to go to the C directory, you'll see there is no putty directory there. Okay, so let's just quickly create one. Let's see, go on. What did we want to think we said it was going to be uh, P U T T Y. Right. So in there, we want to have the putty executable. Well, it won't surprise you. This is Windows. So when you want something, you Google it. So go to your friend, the Google. Putty download. Please be careful where you're downloading stuff. Right. But putty.org is a pretty safe place to start. And it is this uh, unpronounceable URL down here uh, that I won't attempt to butcher. So it depends if um, the window actually maintains it. But if you go to putty.org, uh, it tells you where you can download it. Uh, I am going to take the executable version so that I don't have to uninstall it. So I've got an x86 machine here, so I'm literally just going to download that. Great, that didn't take long to download. That's now going to be in my downloads directory. There it is, putty. I am going to cut that from there and drop it back in that downloads directory. So our putty exe is now in our putty directory. We change the configuration file to say, you know, when you are asked for SSH, please use putty and it's in this directory. 
So now that I've done those two things, firstly, when I reload ACS, I should have an SSH terminal. And if I've done it right, when I click on it, it should trigger a login message. So I'm going to log into this particular user, the system, uh, Retalison has wrote. And the first time I connect to it, it's going to say, uh, you need to accept a security key. So sort of a fingerprint for the encryption, it's the secure shell. So we're using this public encryption, uh, public key encryption. So we need to exchange public and private keys and also a fingerprint of the system we're connecting to. In other words, click accept. If you don't trust it, don't. But now we've done that, that one time, next time we connect to it, it will just go straight to the user and password prompt. Uh, so once you're logged in, you can do the normal sort of putty stuff. So I hope that made sense. Yeah, it's not one of the easier things to do, but you only need to do it once. If you are centrally packaging this up so that we've got a central configuration and then you're going to roll it out to ship it again, you don't need to do it every time. We'll cover more on that whole how to create a custom deployment and push it somewhere else in another session if you guys keep saying the nice things you keep saying. So thank you for all the positive feedback. Uh, any ideas you have for future sessions, please let me know. And anything else that you want me to cover or corrections about this one, you know where I am. Reach out and message. Cheers. Take care for now. Bye.